Fortnite deleted tons of things with the Season 3 update, from essential items to fan favorite POIs being left out of the patch notes, or even trolling players with secret messages along the way. So let's start with the most controversial of all, the Red Eye. We're only a few days into the season and people have been loving this thing, but they didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. It's been ripped out of the game to make room for the new MK Alpha, the first time they've ever done something like this, making players wonder if the Red Eye was even meant to be in the game at all. It was most likely an accident on Epic's part, which should be harmless, but ended up baiting thousands of players. And people are also bummed out because the most popular location of Chapter 4 has been deleted. In the middle of the island, there was Slap and Go, a gas station that everyone landed at. I mean, it was always full of players and connected tons of POIs. Well, now if you drop here, there is nothing, and Fortnite knew how much we liked this place, so they left behind an Easter egg. Land here in Season 3, and it's turned from Slap and Go to Slap and God. I mean, they're really rubbing it in. And Zero Build players are getting even more bad news. The shield bubble has been a lifesaver, especially since the guardian shield was removed. But now there's no way to protect yourself. Season three turned into hard difficulty for no reason. And it's still not as mysterious as a secret POI that Epic forgot about. After the Herald blew up the last island, her corpse is left in a tree. It has been here for months and we even started hearing breathing sounds from inside, only for the story to go nowhere. Well, sadly, Epic must be moving on from this mystery with the Herald tree deleted. And to make things harder, season three just vaulted an item for the first time ever. The shield keg was introduced over a year ago and quickly became a game changer, but it was not important enough to survive the jungle biome. Kind of makes sense considering all the slurp flowers around, but you will be missed. Now the most controversial part of season three is the lack of mobility. People are struggling to get around, especially compared to a week ago. We could sort through the sky with the ODM gear and it was an incredible mythic. We could also dash around with the kinetic blade and this was a perfect mobility item that also had dueling grounds. Two strangers could land at this place, pick up a sword and battle to the death. It was perfect, not to mention, it was just super helpful in zero build when you needed a little extra height to climb hills. Then web shooters came along for the Spider-Verse collab, and these are a timeless classic. Every time they're in the game, they make it feel fresh, and all three of these items are in the loop pool at the exact same time. But within a couple hours, everything I just listed was gone. We had no warning, and it's become a huge problem. I mean, it also made no sense because you can still find those dueling grounds on the map, making people wonder if the kinetic blade was supposed to be a part of this season. Now, not every change is that dramatic. The Battle Pass has an exciting Tier 100 Optimus Prime. People have been desperate to get their hands on them, and that's why Epic made Optimus the last skin in the past. But this also means a tradition has been broken. For the past couple seasons, Tier 100 has been reserved for original skins, and this is the first time a collab has taken the spot in Chapter 4. But no one's realized how Fortnite removed a huge part of last season. There was an incredible POI called Loot Island, and if your squad captured it, you get one mythic each. Now your entire squad is running around with the Overclock Pulse Rifle, which quickly became the strongest weapon of chapter four and you had a whole team of them. In season three, Loot Island still exists, but they have totally nerfed it. You can't find the overclock pulse rifle anymore. That's gone and replaced by a new mythic, the enhanced drum shotgun. Now, if your squad rushes to get this thing, that wouldn't be too excited because you don't get four of them, only two drops. So prepare to fight over them. But I feel like I woke up in a cold sweat when I saw this announcement after years, harvesting tools has been replaced, but I should probably mention it's just the name. Since day one, we've equipped them and seen the words harvesting tool in the corner. And now for the first time ever, it's gone. They're finally just called pickaxes. But season three has a problem that no one saw coming. Maya came out years ago and was the first ever customizable skin. So the randomized button never existed. And when it came out, it broke everything. If a randomized landed on Maya, she would have a random style too, which would edit your customization from years ago. These are previously locked in and yeah, Fortnite's fixed it. So for anyone who wanted to keep their new version, it has been reverted back to how it was before. Four. But the biggest removal from Season 3's map is Anvil Square. This was one of the largest POIs when Chapter 4 came out, and last season it got even more interesting with the Attack on Titan collab. It was revealed to be inspired by Shiganshina, and one of the houses you could find Aaron Yeager's family basement. Now all of this, along with the Thunder Spears, are impossible to find. It's just like the Chug Splash. These have always been one of the most useful consumables out there, and they have always been super reliable. Fortnite rarely vaults them. It's been almost two years since they got out of back, and sadly, Sadly, their time is up. Speaking of time, one of the coolest Easter eggs on the island was over in the Snowy Ice Kingdom, a cold cavern. Inside this iceberg, you'd find the remains of Tilted's famous clock tower. Everyone thought it'd make a return, and as the months went by, nothing changed until now. As you drop into season three, you'll notice that the entire cavern has been removed, and the clock tower is here now, slowly waiting to return. You probably won't get Tilted back until 
chapter five, but it is nice to see an update to this Easter egg. Another secret that had everyone scratching their heads were the monoliths of season two. They appeared randomly taking us by surprise and activating the detective brain inside our heads. No matter how long we spent solving it, the monoliths remained a huge mystery and it gets weirder because the new season has deleted all of them from the map, except for one. Now our attention has moved to this single monolith and has everyone asking, why did this one survive? But moving on, one of the coolest pistols we've ever had is the Flintlock, and it was actually usable last season. Some people had no idea because you'd only find it through a reality augment. It immediately gave you the Flintlock, which was awesome, but hold your excitement because it's nowhere to be found in season three. Epic removed the perk and with it, the Flintlock is banished to the vault again. I'll admit though, I totally wasn't expecting grind rails to be deleted though. Thanks to the new jungle biome, we could get around with vines and it's clearly based on the old system. But last season, grind rails helped us not just at Mega City, but at places like the Citadel, Slappy Shores, and Shattered Slabs. These were notorious for being hard to get around and the mobility items really helped, but now they are all gone and so are grind rails. The only ones you'll find are at Mega City because the whole POI was basically designed around them. Reminds me of the trailer when we were also introduced to the lock on pistol. It had mixed response Responses, but you'd think it would last a little longer. Instead, it was in the game for like a month and season three has removed it from every loot pool. I kind of understand this one though. The kinetic boomerang would be a ridiculous combo with the lock on pistol. One of the most interesting changes has to be at Hidden Henge. Since day one, this has been the home of the zero point and was protected in a vault by the reality warriors. They've had control of it for months now, but no one anticipated a jungle creating a massive hole in the island. With that, Hidden Henge has been completely destroyed and now we can see what was inside the vault. The zero point wasn't there in case stone and you can visit it for yourself on the new map. You can't break it open though, trust me, I've tried like a thousand times. Speaking of the reality warriors, they have bases all over the island and the launch pads inside, they're really useful. If your favorite drop a solitary shrine, you'll probably realize it is gone from season three. Sadly, this one didn't make it, but all the others are intact, so you'll have to head there instead. And you might not have noticed, but things get really weird when you look back at the cracks from last week. They were perfectly aligned with the shape of the jungle and told us exactly what to expect before it even happened. Although, some some cracks were on the other side of the island, confusing everyone. So as we loaded into the new season, we went straight to this location, only for the cracks to be completely missing. To this day, no one knows why they were there, so super weird. Another unexplained event was the Burn Bright emote. This could be earned for free last season, it was a simple reward, nothing too special, right? Except, whenever people used it, their game crashed, and the problem got so bad, that Fortnite had to remove the emote until they find a solution. We also still can't figure out why the heisted weapons have been changed. At the end of season one, the site for event began and Epic removed every single heisted weapon, except for one, the explosive AR. No one knows why, but it goes deeper than this. Fast forward to season three and the explosive AR has been removed. All the other heisted items are still in the game though, with the exception of the Blink Mag SMG. I don't know what's going on with this weapon, but Fortnite treats it differently to all the others. And it's not the only item that has been ripped out of season three's loot pool. You can't find the Dragon's Breath Sniper anymore, which makes sense. It has been replaced by the upcoming explosive repeater. But we've also lost a ton of regular items. You can't find the combat or charged shotguns anymore, and the Cobra has been replaced by a thermal DMR. The Twin Mag SMG has followed the Blink Mag into the vault, and with the tracker perk gone, there's also the removal of the flare gun. I mean, let's be honest, if this is still in the game, the jungle will be a piece of cake, and mud disguises would be useless. And so that was everything removed in Fortnite Season 3. It's been Tommy and Cupid here on Top 5 Gaming.